Well, here we are again for a feast of football, a midweek feast of football. I'm Mike Porky Parry. You are. I'm Mike Graham. And we are with. We are with Bet Safe. And why are we with Bet Safe? Because you've got to be in it to win it. In it to win it with Bet Safe. That's right. Now, of course, Everton versus Arsenal dominating my thoughts. And if you're an Everton fan, it's. Oh, it's another disaster of the weekend, isn't it's it? It's time. Well, I wouldn't say it was a disaster, but I mean, Arsenal are, you know, clearly in rip roaring form. Mm. They're at Goodison Park. I still think Everton can do something about it. What do you think? I don't think Everton have got any chance of doing anything about it. They're currently ninth position in the league. I think yes. that's about as high as they're going to be oh. at the end of the season. So I think you've got to go for Sanchez. Everton are 10 to 3, right? Yeah. Uh, Arsenal favourites 13 to 15. That's right. Away. Yeah. From home. Yeah, it's almost even. Don't evens. forget they were top of the table for a few hours. Almost uh, even. 27 to 10 for mm. the draw. That's almost 3 to 1. But the point yeah. is, you mentioned Sanchez. He scored five goals in the last two games. Mm. That's two and a half goals a game. It is. Oh. And Everton is just not very good, I'm afraid. Well, I think the revolution will come sooner rather than later. Let's mm. look at the other game, the parallel game to that one on the same night, Bournemouth yeah. versus Leicester. Bournemouth versus Leicester. Now, Leicester I mean, have suddenly woken up. Oh, what a revelation yeah. Jamie Vardy was. Yeah. I mean, it was a question of bang, take one, bang, take two, mm. bang, a hat-trick. Absolutely right. Amazing he's never scored a hat-trick in the Premier League before. And that, No, the last hat-trick he scored was in the conference That's for right. Fleetwood, I think. Yeah. And, of course, what I've just said was against uh, Manchester City. It was. So, I mean, you know, that boy's no slouch, is he? Now then, nevertheless, nevertheless, Leicester have been really a little bit slow in their form this season. Mm. Manchester City still favourites to win this game. Mm? Manchester City aren't playing in this game, though. Bournemouth are playing in this game. Yes, Leicester. Bournemouth are playing in this game. That's why Bournemouth are favourites to win the game. No, they're not. Two. Three, Who are three they? to two for Bournemouth, right? right. Sixteen to five. Yes, uh, is a draw on both teams to score. Yes, Leicester about two to one, something like that. And the draw seven to three. Yeah, so, so it's, a, it's a close old game. Bournemouth have been playing really well, I think. Yes, yeah, Bournemouth have been playing very well. They've been a bit unlucky, I would say. A very, little bit unlucky. Very unlucky, but I mean, you know, when you look at the way that the form is going up and down like this in the Premier mm. League, uh, of course we can talk about the games later in the week. Yes. Sunderland versus Chelsea. Sunderland versus Chelsea is going to be interesting. Now, Sunderland, of course, lost to Bobcat Barb. Bobcat Barb, didn't they? Bobcat Barb. Wallop, Davy Boys. He's fed up with people making fun of his accent. He wallop, Davy Boys, the boys. Mm. And uh, 3 0, and that wasn't a good one, was it? No. Nevertheless, nevertheless. So it's a top versus bottom, this, isn't it? This, I mean, yeah. that doesn't happen very often. It's top versus bottom, 26 points between the two teams. Mm. Okay, Chelsea, even with a two goal handicap, mm. 21 to 10 to win this game. Yeah, that that's, is, uh, that's worth looking at. That tells you exactly how much yes. of a they are. Sunderland yes. is something like 10 to 1. That's right. To win the game, but I wouldn't have thought you'd want to be putting And that's at home. That. That's at home. Unless you want to just put a little, uh, you know, a cheeky fibre on yeah, it. Yeah, like I, I totally agree. And keep an eye, please, on the BetSafe website for the odds on Costa mm. to be the first goal scorer. Yes. Because, I mean, you've got to say to yourself, that is a potential likelihood. Absolutely. What about Crystal Palace versus Manchester United? Well, United, of course, grabbing mm. that 1-0 victory over Spurs. Yeah, well, indeed. And everybody's thinking now that Manchester United is starting to look a bit better than uh, yes. they first thought. Could they still get back into the top four? Ooh. Crystal Palace are very, very um, you yes. know, up and down team at the moment. Yeah. Uh, the draw is, what, about 3-1, to one, something yeah, like that? Yeah, that's right. Uh, but, which is what I would look for. Actually. Yes. That's, that's my recommendation. But Ibrahimovic I, to score the first goal. Well, I, keep your eye on the BetSafe website. Mm. I quite like the offer of United to be ahead at half time and full time 29 to 20 that's almost 3 to 2 mm. that to me is one of those that you can keep an eye on because it could bring you some good returns okay, okay. what about Spurs versus Hull Spurs versus Hull well Hull are having a pretty miserable season you'd have to say I mean, they're down there in relegation territory but Spurs yes. are having trouble scoring goals aren't they yes. that is their problem isn't it yeah. oh yeah yeah absolutely uh, now also of course Spurs <laughs> got hammered they didn't get hammered they got beaten 1 0 by Manchester yes. United you've got to look at all these results MG yeah. because one can be a knock on effect to another. You've got to put them into the old uh, bin, haven't you, and mix them all around and it, see what comes out the other side. It's the science of football. Yeah. However, I would say on this one, you're looking at... Uh, Spurs are favourites, aren't they? Spurs are favourites. Mm. What are they favourites at? They're 3-13. to 13. 3 13. Draw 53-10 to 10 is actually yeah. a bad bet, given that Spurs can't score any goals. I think that's very good. And also, mm. again, an opportunistic bet here, because they think Spurs might go on the rampage. We're talking about over five and a half goals yeah. in this game. Uh, 71 to 10, 7 yeah, to 1. That's not bad. No, I don't Very want to nice. uh, impinge on private grief, but Watford yes. are playing as well against yes. Manchester City. Yes. And of course, Watford are the team that were 1 0 down to Everton, yes. uh, but who ended up winning by three goals to two. Oh, really? Thanks yeah. for reminding me. Yeah, Thanks for reminding me! I just thought I should. Manchester City in a bit of a bad run at the moment. Well, you say that, but I think, you know, they're at home, they're against Watford. Uh, they have had two losses in a row, mm. which is very unusual for a yeah. team in their dominant position. Yeah. However, Watford's seventh are making a fist of their Premier League. 
League yeah. campaign. So it's not going to be that clear. But Man City, I think, starting at about one to four. Yes, and yeah. I think uh, City to score over three point five goals, two to one, might be worth a little uh, look. I would say. Okay, and Watford to win outright away at Manchester City. It's going to be about ten to one. Yeah. But anyway, it's going to be a feast of footballs. So I've already is. told you, it's the Premier League in England. It's the best. You've got to be in it to win it. Yeah, Why have you got to be in it, it to win because it? Because we are the two mates, and we are with BetSafe. We are with BetSafe.